Army cutbacks are coming. Just announced today, Schofield Barracks will lose more than 1,200 soldiers, and Fort Shafter will lose 229. That is still a far cry from the worst case scenario of 20,000 cuts. The Army's Director of Force Management said the troop cuts come after, quote, a long and deliberate process that included analysis by the Government Accountability Office. Overall, the Army is cutting 40,000 soldiers, the result of the 2011 sequester passed by Congress that seeks to cut $1 trillion in spending. We can fix it uh, in Congress. I mean, we've got to get together and um, address sequestration, raise the caps, and make sure that we, um, uh, we don't have sequ sequestration affecting defense and non-defense spending in our country. My concern really lies in the fact that the overall decision to cut 40,000 soldiers from our forces uh, is not being made in the best interest, best strategic interest for our country or what's in the best interest for our troops. Representative Mark Takai says Hawaii could actually see some additional troops in the coming weeks and months as medical and air defense assets move to the islands. For military communities like Wahiwa, the past few months have been filled with uncertainty as businesses waited for word on just how deep the cuts would go. Now KITV Force Andrew Pereira shows us folks in central Oahu can breathe a little bit easier. Whether it's national brands like Walgreens and McDonald's or mom and pop stores that line Kamehameha Highway, Wahiwa leans heavily on the military. Kevin Siegman of Kiani's Closet says up to 50% of his business comes from soldiers or their family members. It's really important to have the military here, uh, and it's so close by, it's only five minutes away, so um, it's really important to me as a business. Ditto for Aloha Sub Deli and Sandwich Shop next door. It's really important. I would say half of the customers are military, so. Yeah, we really appreciate all the customers that come in here. According to the Military Affairs Council, which is part of the Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii, the military supports 100,000 jobs and adds more than $12 billion of economic stimulus. Businesses here in Wahiwa are breathing a collective sigh of relief that the announced troop cuts didn't go much deeper. It's nice to have them as neighbors. Cindy Bauer with the nonprofit group Surfing the Nations leases five storefronts to local businesses in Wahiwa, including the popular Surfer's Coffee Bar. At first it was, oh my goodness, how scary, and now I guess that sometimes bad news can seem like good news when the other news was worse than what it was. So it'll be interesting to see the effect. We will miss anybody that goes. As part of the 1,214 soldiers being cut from Schofield Barracks, the 2nd Brigade Combat Team with the 25th Infantry Division will convert from a striker brigade to a two-maneuver battalion infantry brigade. Carol Kai credits the Keep Hawaii's Heroes campaign from preventing even more drastic changes at the military base. In just one and a half months, the effort produced more than 42,000 signatures. By golly, the people of Hawaii, especially the Waihewa community and that whole area in the North Shore, they really responded well. The Army is also cutting 17,000 civilians as part of the reduction announced today. We should know more about the local effects in 60 to 90 days. Meanwhile, the National Guard is scheduled to be cut by 15,000 troops. No word yet on how that could impact the Hawaii National Guard. Andrew Pereira, KITV4 News.